Okay, so now you done you done diversified from from the from the girl to uh, the in the 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 car business, the insurance business, mm-hmm. <laughs> and and ultimately you start you you, you do catch a situation, mm-hmm. right? Um, but it doesn't quite stick. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. Tell me when when does that happen in in respect to the situation to the time period you're talking about now? Um, that happened in '92. Okay. Um, June of '92. My girlfriend's so, like 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 I felt I you know how you feel the heat. It was it was it was almost time to stop anyway, but I felt the heat anyway. And seeing different cars and shit, tennis mm-hmm. on him. Mm-hmm. So. Um, we weren't gonna be getting to work for a while. So my girlfriend's mother asked to borrow some money because she had she needed to make some money. She ain't want me to keep taking care of her. Woo, woo, woo. Come to find out, she was being manipulated by somebody. You know what I mean? To to mm. to trap me. That was the ultimate goal. So she borrowed the money. She went and done the deal. It was a reverse buy sting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have no drugs. Reverse by sting. Come get me out out the bed. You know what I'm saying? Took me to the scene of the crime. You know what I'm saying? We go downtown. I don't have nothing to say my lawyer's present. Um, by the time I said that, my lawyer coming through the door. Because my uncle, somebody didn't call my uncle and told him what happened. So lawyer was there, um, which I charged my client with nothing. So, okay, we he's free to, yeah, he's free to go. He asked about her. They was like, oh, she's straight. And she was like, I'm good. I'm okay. So that day I left, immediately called to connect, immediately called all my friends, let them know what happened. Now, I'm still unconscious about a lot of stuff, but I know a lot of stuff too. So the connect was trying to tell me, okay, this is what I need you to do. It's the same connect? Yeah. The, the weed shit and all that shit. Mm-hmm. It's him. So he tells me that um that uh he want me to call him back and give him this name and tell him you work for this name. Call who back? Huh? Call who back? The FBI. So I say, nigga, I'm not calling them. Nigga, they let me go. I'm not calling them back. You know what I mean? Like, no, you got to do this. You got to do this. So I'm like, man, I'm not calling them back, bro. Like, they let me go. You know what I'm saying? You can forget that. So <laughs> nothing still resonate with me for real. I'm just thinking he on some advanced move to, I don't know what the fuck he on, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then, then about a week later, he started calling me, talking about, they're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. I'm like, who going to kill you? The connect? Yeah. The guy I was getting it from. Right. Because I, in the midst of, in the, in the room of all this now. Right. The real connect is calling. Now, when I meet in my dude office, my dude say, all right, he going to get on the phone. I just want you to tell him that you're going to take care of it. You know, I'm like, okay, I'll tell him I ain't tripping. I'm going to take care of him. Don't know what the fuck he talking about. Right? So the real connect calling, saying, uh, so you got on the phone? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take care of it. All right, y'all, he's saying, I'm going to need you to because, you know, like, I don't understand. I'm like, okay, I got you. Clueless, bro, as wow. to what's really going on. You wow. know what I'm saying? So, so um, this happened about two or three times. Now, after all the shit, let me go back to here though first. So, um, so um, now they can't. Now, shortly after that, when he called and say this, he called and say this. Now he wants me to come meet him. So I goes and I kicks it with him. This is the person I'm seeing, not the person that was on the phone. So I'm the person I see, I go meet some. Shortly after that, he comes a body. Right? Say what? 
I'm the last person that was seen with him. So now they got me suspect for homicide. Right? So, um, it's crazy, man. Like, this shit crazy. So, um, I still don't know nothing. Clueless. Like, I'm just baffled. Like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? Mind you, this motherfucker owed me about six, seven million. You know what I mean? So, um, the, 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 the done, the done yeah. dude. Oh, oh, my shit, because he's been borrowing money. He ain't been, you know what I mean? He's been doing all type of borrowing money. Um, I gave him, like, th this time too, I had a bunch of property. I had a bunch of real estate. I had about 52 houses that they took from me, but he owed me like 60 houses that I gave him money for already. He used to get them hood packaging plans back then where you can get mm -hmm. like 10 to 20 houses in a package. Some yep. of them you can do something with, some of them you can't. Right. You know what I mean? So, so, um, so that happened. So um the last one saying what I'm boom, that's there. So now I'm suspect for a homicide. They put me on TV, known for a hundred millions, here from here to Chicago, Phoenix, California, Colombia, Mexico, other parts of Guatemala, weekly. Um, some crazy shit. You know, Have you been indicted? Yeah. No, I haven't been indicted. Holy I'm just fuck. a suspect. Holy shit. So bro. listen how they come up with the indictment though. So now when that happens, I see myself on the news, I disappear. Right? So when I disappear, and I'm on still only a suspect though. They run about all my people's cribs. You know what I'm saying? All that old shit. So, so um, what they did was, when my girlfriend's mother did that situation, all the information that she gave them, because she was my, she moved from me. So all the information she gave them was accurate, mm. but it didn't come from me, right? Mm. So they created FBI 302 and said that I said these things and they lodged a warrant on me for drugs which was end up being a, a regular indictment at that time um now what they did was my advisor rights paper they scratched out refused to talk and put refused to sign made the fbi 302 this is how to get the warrant on me for the indictment that i beat on speedy trial act so they that's how they got the warrant on me Large indictment, you know what I'm saying? I'm out the way, moving around, um, end up getting caught up. They had a federal fruit here warrant on me um, from that particular indictment. So, uh, stay in jail, 13 months. The first 90 days, because they caught me with a gun. The first 90 days, I posted a bond on a gun. So now I'm in the federal custody now because I done bonded on the state shit. But they don't know I posted the bond. So after I posted the bond, we filed a motion for a speedy trial. Right? So they don't take me to court to the 181st day. All this time I'm in the county. They doing the bullpen shit. And they, they did this about 10 times, man, where they act like they're taking me to court, waking me up 3 o'clock in the morning, Run me through all the bullpens. Nobody never come get me. Go back up. You know, they're trying to break. I guess they're trying to break. I don't know what the fuck they thought they was doing, but uh, they never took me to court. I finally go to court on my 181st day. And that's when a judge is like, this is the, the most the greatest miscarriage of justice I've ever seen in my life. Like, why y'all just wouldn't take him to court? And and what was, what was the logic? What? Why they so they busy respond? that the person that got the person that got murdered, his wife was a judge, his brother was a congressman. So they were so busy trying to break me and get information that I don't know. It's an open therapy.
You see what I'm saying? Isolation. Yeah, you know what I mean? So Scare tactics. Yeah, all that. You, that That's why I asked you, as you like ran down the news report, I'm like, oh, oh, so you indicted already. No? No. Oh, oh, somebody somewhere with some power is mad. Yeah. So because that was that was libel all day long. Yeah. Unless somebody had some real inside information. How would they get that? You know? Mm hmm We go ahead. So. Yeah. So now I'm in I'm in there ten and a half months. So when when they went um the eighty first day from we filed for a dismissal. So now for me to go to court, they transferred me from the county to my detention center. This is how I meet my godfather, which ought to me end up being the real connect. Not the real connect connected to your upline. Well, bomb book out of it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, son? We fuck this. We doing a movie. Let's go. <laughs> but here. that ain't shit though, right? So now. I'm young. I didn't had about six attempts on my life because he's saying that he's gonna look out for me. Right? This is the connect the connect. connect the, the real motherfucker. That's 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 in the in the spot when you get there. Yeah, he's already in there. Ain't got nothing to do right. with me though. Right. But he's already in there. So he um he uh he's been promising me that he's gonna look out for me. You know what I'm saying? Just on something, we're going to work, we're going to work. But honestly, he was just trying to size me up to kill me because I was a young nigga with too much information. So every time I go meet at the rendezvous spot, somebody gunning at me. Uh, I, 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 listen, I did meet the element surprise about six times, bro. No. So hold on, bro. How, how, so it happens. You, you go to. I'm on the run. Uh, you, you go to a rendezvous. I'm on the run. You, you on the run. I'm on the run. But you go to make a move. I go to make a move, tell him I, I need some money, I need some Don't money. nobody know that you're making this move, but you and who you making a move with. But listen, I'm so, uh, listen, I'm I'm so, but because this dude is so connected, I was taught or programmed to think that it probably has something to do with him and his people. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I go to make the move, but mind you, I'm, I've been on the run. I've been in the house, bro, every day for months and months and months and months, bro, like in years. You know what I mean? Like, so like my spiritual senses is crazy, man. I used to, like I was going crazy. I used to sit back and look at a fly. Be like, okay, that motherfucker, when he get up, he gonna go this way, that way, and he gonna shoot that way. Don't let that motherfucker be right. Don't let him do that there's, exact shit. There's, there, there's a reason for that. <laughs> when we when we get to talk offline, I, 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 I'll share that with you. That's... That's my that's my area of uh, of interest and expertise, man. Okay, yeah. cool. So don't let that shit happen. So now I'm in I'm in my most highest spiritual senses ever because it's only me. I'm living by myself every motherfucking day. I only come out at 11, 12 o'clock, go to the 24 hour grocery store, H E B, right around the corner from my apartment, back in the crib all day long. Shades down all isolation. day long. I'm living in total darkness. He's he a he self self imposed house arrest. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so when they pull a move, I'm feeling it, I'm seeing it, and I'm built for it. Right. Boy, you talking about some matrix shit? <laughs> Nigga, oh my god, man, it was crazy, man. One time, man, listen. So. After the, you know, the first time is like real super suspect. I know you going to be there. You know, I'm going to be there. Nobody else is supposed to know or need to know this. Mm -hmm. And and somehow somebody shows up there trying to hit me. Uh, that is definitely going to be a super duper big ass red flag for me. You dig? <laughs> That's not going to get a second opportunity. Right. How do you end up? But, the, oh, let, 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 but he's programming me to make me think because his wife was a judge, his brother was a congressman, that maybe the phones was tapped some kind of way and they had somebody on their end trying to catch up with me. Whoa. 
So he's like, sorry, the people, <laughs> my, my family's a little concerned about you. So, you know, they might try to kill you while we trying to handle our business with nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? So again, I didn't figure like, I still like, he ain't admitted to this day that, that, but what made me feel a certain way was when I met him in the detention center, he never knew who my real dad was. Right. Him, my real dad done, done time in Jackson together. Right. You know what I'm saying? And my dad put in work. You know what I'm saying? Right. For him, whether it was on the streets or whatever. But when he found right. out that was my dad, he just kind of like got emotional. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Never said nothing still. But I'm just going to say my own intuition. To, my own intuition is that had he known that that was my dad, he would have dealt with his situation different, which he probably wouldn't have been in jail. Because I'm one of them motherfuckers that have sacrificed myself. And then my dad already gave me like two soldiers that was Vietnam vets. Whereas that if they do kill somebody, they get out in six months on a shell shock, whatever shit. You know what I mean? So, I never do that. <laughs> yeah, you know, they be having that post-traumatic stress disorder and all that old shit. Oh, You know what I'm true. saying? That's so, true. yeah, they dead now, though. Shit, but all my uncles is that. Yeah, they see? all that. Yeah, I've seen it, but they, 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 they did now, bless their side. heart, but they would, if they have an episode, they would put their ass in the hospital, medicate them for six months, and they resurface. Yeah, that's ill. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I never you had a chance to use them anyway, though. You know what I mean? But yeah. it's just, that's what they was on, and that's how they right. fuck with my dad. 